I did want to bring in a whole bunch of decals. here welcome back to another video on my channel i have a huge haul for you guys today uh ooh, it's been a while since i filmed a haul this big honestly from coco and claire from claire jelly stamper from fusion uh we have some new brands to the channel uh i've talked about painted desert before um i now carry painted desert at flora which is so exciting um but i am going to go through some of their gel polish gel polish and their gel products so those i don't carry at flora but i definitely wanted to try um that brand out and see how i like it as well ivory went to the back to beauty show and she did a little bit of like live shopping for me while she was there so i want to go through all those items that she grabbed for me as well and then i also wanted to talk about arch rival it is a new brand um to the channel that i've never really talked about before but they sent me a pr package and i briefly went through it in a vlog but i want to um, dive into it a little bit more in this video too. So it's gonna be a long video I want to go through every single product. I'm gonna open up every single um, Like gel color and stuff. I'm not gonna do swatches and stuff here on the channel um, But we will talk about all of the different shades and all of that So it's gonna be long so go get your favorite drink go get a beverage something and let's get started Okay, so this video is actually gonna be kind of all over the place because part of the video was filmed a couple months ago and then part of the video I'm literally filming two days before my launch <laughs> Uh, but I thought I'd combine it all into one and it'll be time stamped so that you can jump around to whatever part you're interested in as well. I am going to start with uh, Flora Nail Shop's fall releases. Um, some as well as some clear jelly stamper releases too. So by the time you guys are watching this, my launch will be tomorrow morning. So Friday, August 26th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I don't know how busy it's going to be. Like the shop is, is very steady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is very steady, uh, but I have not done like a big launch like this so I'm honestly not too sure if things are gonna sell out I don't know how any of that's gonna work um, but if there is something that you're kind of eyeing up um, a lot of it I I won't be restocking and just depending on demand will decide whether or not I restock it right now we're leading into fall and Halloween so that is kind of the items that I'm gonna share with you uh, so this actually already released um, this is our watercolor palette it's nice because it comes with everything that you need to get started with watercolor uh, so you guys know that I love watercoloring in my stamping images See here like I, I would stamp this down and then I would watercolor that in so I do have a separate video talking about the new releases um, with flora so we had the watercolor palette release and then we did have a flora nail shop uh, stamping plate release as well and a polish kit too so uh, those are up on the site some new releases from clear jelly stamper today that are on the site as well this is this is not a new release this released a few weeks ago uh, but this is hippie rival i believe it's called um, and I believe I still have some stock left of that one. And then these three released today as well. So first up we have this one. Actually, I'm gonna open these all. So this is CJS 262, that's my jam. I think this plate is so cute. I don't know if I will ever do a set of jam nails. Like I don't, I don't know if that's what anybody's ever gonna request, but if they do, <laughs> this will just be such a fun plate to use. And besides the jam images, there's some really great florals on here too. Oh, these are nice. So you could easily do stamping here one, two, three, and just leave it. It would kind of look watercolory. Or you could just do outline and watercolor it in. There's some flexibility on this stamp, which is nice. Um, some really good greenery on here too, some leaves. I don't know, I just think this plate is so pretty. I really, really like it. 266, this one is called Pup, and there is a good variety of different dog images on here. Now we do have another dog stamping plate from CJS, um, but it's quite funny because when I, I did do dog request nails from, I think I've done two of them on Ivory and Talia Designs, and it literally is so nice to have more images um, with it. I'm not really sure what's going on with the butt thing there, but this is cute with a little fence. Yeah. The big game, 259, and it is the football inspired plate. Again, I do have some football plates and sports plates from other brands, but I love when CJS comes out with like a full on plate like this um, because you know there's gonna be some really good images on here. And this is what the other side looks like as well. And we will see some more fall and Halloween releases from Clear Jelly Stamper very, very soon, which will be fun. And then from Flora, um, I'm launching a bunch of different nail art products. So first let's talk about this giant stack here. <laughs> 
Um, I am launching the Flora Decal Shop and it is gonna have tons and tons and tons of nail decals on it. So I, you guys know this, I am not a huge hand painter. I would rather come up with some sort of design that incorporates nail decals or nail stamps. Love being able to carry items for those of you out there that don't want to hand paint, don't know how to hand paint, you just want something easy, something quick on your nails, I am all about that jam, designing some sort of set around these images. So I did want to bring in a whole bunch of decals. Um, I've got some on the site right now, they are on clearance because they're more summer images, um, but these ones are all going to be new on the site and I think there's even more. I have some that are still in the packages over there that I never really took out. So these ones here are some of my favorite from the whole launch, I just think these are so pretty. So this is for those um, abstract modern designs and they will all be numbered with this number. So if there is something that you are looking for from this uh, video, just write down the number. Um, I need to come up with names for all of these and I'm terrible at names, so who knows what they're gonna be called. Uh, but if you are an ab abstract modern lover, you will like this plate and they are all holographic too, which is fun. Uh, so if I was going to use these images, I would probably, Let's say I was going to do them on press on, so I'm I'm going to sort of embed them. I would do my base color down. I would go in and stick my decal on top of it. Now these are sticky decals, so you're going to want to remove the dispersion layer, and then I would seal it in with some sort of like strength layer. Let's say strong from Coco and Claire, just a thin layer of it, um, just to keep that decal in. But then I can go in and do some stamping right on top of it, and then I would do like some leaf stamping or some line stamping or something like that. Um, that's exactly how I would use these because then you've got those modern images underneath and you've got some stamping on top now This one here some really great florals with that holographic There's a whole but I love this one too. Like I am all about these tones for fall This one has some really great diamonds and gems I don't know if anybody is gonna like this or what I when I was trying to decide whether or not to bring it in I was like is this kind of cheesy like would people have a use for this <laughs> but I ultimately loved it so much and know that I would use it so I was like oh there's got to be somebody out there um, again some more of the modern abstract ones some really fun jewels I have a Sailor Moon set coming up that I think I'm gonna use these on more modern abstract ones and then this is probably one of my favorite ones from the whole set just such a beautiful floral set. And these are in no particular order. Um, I should have probably organized them, but I'm just gonna quickly go through all of them so you guys can see what you like. And um, there is some Halloween in here as well as more fall designs. And then there are some in here that are more spring too. Like this, I would probably launch for spring, but I am gonna launch it uh, now just because we are launching the decal shop and it'll be on the website, it'll be easy to find. A whole category of tons of great decals. And I love this one. I wanted to bring it in for floor because I just love it so much. Some blue butterflies. Like this is definitely more spring, but you never know. I love those rosy ones. Now these are really fun. These would be really great to add for like a, with a French tip nail. And the Halloween ones that I picked out are just, they're so fun. I really, really like them. This is a good kind of all rounded staple type of one. You could design some really great sets with that one. This one, I really love the color palette of it. <laughs> this one is a little bit out there, but I think it's, I don't know. I think it's so interesting. And this one I love. I could just see like a really great black and white set done with this. Love this kind of potiony looking one and then some Joker ones. Okay, now this one is kind of like ink flowers, which I thought was really cool. Some great fall ones, and I love this one. I absolutely love this deco set. Um, I know I have limited ones of these. I was kicking myself for not bringing more of these ones in. Some pansies. These would be great to layer with those other decals. And it's interesting because I gave Ivory a few of these and she used them on her clients and she said they feel like um, window cling when you put them on the nail. They're so sticky, they're, they're fantastic. I really, really am happy with these decals. And then some black and white kind of insect looking ones. I love this one too. I think it's just so pretty. And this I believe was a spring one, but the, just the color tones of it, I think it would be great for fall. Some fall florals. And that one, love this one too. This is a good wedding one, I feel like. And then this one is like ink splatters. So if you maybe were struggling with working with uh, inks or anything like that, get yourself some decals. This is one of my favorite fall ones. I love the colors of the leaves on here. This one too, I really like that as well. 
Now this is 100% spring, <laughs> it's got like the little bunnies on it, uh, but I really like the shape of the flowers on here and I actually had somebody inquiring as to whether or not I had decals this with these flowers on, um, and now I do. So if you're watching, they're here. And some really great watercolor ones here. I love these little like um, gingham, I think is what they call it. And this one, this is one of my favorite ones too. I think we showed that one already. Love the color palette of this one. And same thing, I really like like the little pops of black on that one. Love these butterflies. So tons, I think that we showed those ones already, tons of floral decals, tons of decals on the site now um, with more coming as well. So speaking of decals, I am launching our water decal um, mystery bundle for fall as well. So I have a bunch of different categories on the site. And then um, this one is going to be fall. So this is just an example. There are hundreds of images um, in each little kit. You're not going to get a repeat, but if you were to order like five or six different kits, yeah, you might see some repeat um, decals, but it's just fun because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I order like decal kits and stuff, there's always something in them that I don't really care for, but I try to bring in images that I would for sure use on my clients as well. And it's just fun. It's like, you just don't know what you're gonna get every time. You know, they're gonna be good decals, but you just don't know what they're gonna be. <laughs> Love these leaves. Uh, so these are water decals and I do have little tutorials on my flora accounts to kind of showing you guys how to use these. I'll put them on the website too. Um, but water decals I like to drop in a dispersion layer of like say a gel polish and they kind of just like suck down to the nails. They work really, really well. And these images, because they are water decals, they're not gonna be as bold as say like these sticker ones. So I definitely recommend putting these on a lighter base. So that is just one example of what a water decal kit could look like. So these are our sweater powders. These are so fun. I love these. Uh, so they are essentially like a sugar powder of glitter in some different colors. They're going to come as a bundle and you can sugar with these. You can embed these. It's like they'd be kind of thick, but they're not. Both Ivory and Christina were... Um, shocked at how thin they are but they are nice and thin and uh, so I did a nail where I had embedded this in some cocoa and Claire strong filed it to shape and then I went into and did some plaid stamping on top of it loved it I just think it's so fun and for the stamping you can easily pull different colors from these like you could do some red plaid stamping with this one or some white or some orange or some blue so all six of these will come in the kit and um, you can also sugar with them. So you could just do them on top of your tack-free top coat and then cure it and it'd be like a sugar powder. Or you can do what I had said where you embed them in a little bit of gel um, or acrylic and then do some plaid stamping on top, which is what I kind of envisioned them for when I first saw them. Um, that's just how I would use them. <laughs> I love this one. I feel like, I mean, it's such an interesting color. There's some lime green, some orange, some red, some purple, and then some white in here. Um, I feel like you could do like an ugly Christmas sweater with that one and it would be so fun. So definitely let me know what you guys think about those. I think they're really unique and I am very happy with them. Um, okay, so this is one of the glitter options that I have for fall. Now I didn't wanna bring in glitter mixes and stuff, but I do like these kind of chunkier glitters like this because you can embed these in some gel or some acrylic. And I liked this little kit because you're not getting a whole ton of um, different glitters. And then you also have each of the leaves that you can use individually however you want. I really liked this option. I do have some glitter options that are like just leaf mixes. So there are these type of colors, but then they're mixed into an actual like leaf mix too. Uh, so it just depends on like what would work better for you. I think this is a great option for people that do their own nails uh, because it's nice and small. You don't have, a, have to have a whole ton of different glitter options, but the other ones, because they ha are mixed up, there's some different colors in them. Like one of them has a really nice turquoise in it. Um, another one has like three different shades of green. So just kind of depends what you're looking for. To go along with sweater powders that are uh, launching, um, I did bring in some glitter savers. So these just have one little component, um, lid off, 
So it's easy to pour your glitters right back into your containers. Your finger fits nice on here. You can just leave it nice and flat like that. They're nice and wide. And they come in two options, um, a pink and like a graphite gray. And for other tools, we have our Nail Studio tweezers. I don't know about you guys, but tweezers are some of my most used tools in the Nail Studio. And I really, really like the shape of these ones. I have used ones from Glitter Mix Canada for years. They are fantastic. And I found some that have like a light pink. And I really like it. Uh, so this end here is nice and flat for you to push down your decals or push down any sort of nail art. And then these tweezers are super sharp and super pointy. They, the pointy end works fantastic for peeling decals off of your sheet. They're nice and pointy for that. Just make sure you don't rip your decal. <laughs> And then you'd use the other side to kind of push it down on the nail as well. So um, these come in the light pink here and then the black as well. And we also have three brush sets launching. This is the Essential Pastel brush set. So it comes with six different brushes and on two of the brush ends there is um, some dotting tools. And I call this the Essentials brush set uh, because I liked all of the heads in this set. I feel like it's like a one-stop shop for different brush heads. I feel like this would be a really good starter brush set to bring to um, try out. So um, I like that this one has a little bit more of a pointier edge. Uh, for me, I would probably use that for cleaning up or for doing different type of nail art. And these brushes are super versatile in how you use them. Um, you could use them for gel for sure. I would just do some prep with them first. And then this one has like a slight angle brush. And lately I've been really liking angle brushes for uh, working with inks, just so you can blend them out a little bit easier. And this one is nice and square. This one is thick. Like I feel like if you were gonna use it for hand painting lines, you would want to trim it down quite a bit, uh, but that's not what I would use it for. Again, I would probably use this for blending out art inks. Um, I really like brushes like this for that. And then we have this one, which is a little bit of a fatter, stiffer round brush. You could probably use this for gel, but I think it might be a little bit too fat for that. Um, and then lastly, we have a striping brush, which I'm actually, I do like the thickness of this. Uh, so I think these are really good, like nail art brushes, fine liner marble brushes, which are probably my favorite brushes from this launch. They have a really nice feel to them. They're nice and light. I like how they fit in my hand. And then uh, these ones have really great fine heads on them. I've used these for just a little bit of hand painting with some different lines. Um, I like the different lengths on them as well. This one is a little bit thicker. You might have to trim that one down, but these lengths right here are some of my favorite and they're nice and short as well. So again, a nice option for finer detail brushes, our floral art brush set. And I have used a brush set like this in the past from a professional supplier and I really, really liked it. The only difference is they had the fine line brushes, um, but I was able to find these square ones. And again, these ones I've been using for art inks mostly uh, for like blunt, Oh, that's another thing I would use this brush for. And some of the finer liner brushes is for marbling. I love like a brush head like this for marbling, marbling my gels together. These type of heads here, I love using with um, art inks because you can just kind of push the art inks around to create the veining and such that you want. Obviously, I love the handles of these. So three different brush sets that are launching as well. This will have a different logo on the front of it, but this is the nail decal storage that I have brought in as well. And this fits these decals perfectly in case this is how you like to store your decals. And I like that. I like having options for different storage on here. And they do have double storage. So one on the front, one on the back, and they are separate as well. Cause sometimes I know you get like decal storage books and they are not separate. They're just like one pocket, um, but these are separate. So that is everything that is launching, I think. I feel like I might be forgetting something. Mostly it's the decals though. There's tons and tons and tons of decals. Our Halloween and fall confetti will be launching as well. Uh, very limited quantities of it. I did wanna talk about some other new releases, non-related to Flora. Uh, so Beanie Beauty Box, you guys, they came out with a new gel polish collection. It's their Mod Life collection. So it features 12 gel polishes. I love the Beamy gel polishes. They are some of my favorite. Um, they are professional only. Creamy gel polish. And they are not lying. They are so, so creamy. So let's go through each one of these. Um, I'm just gonna open them up so you guys can see the color and I'll tell you like what I think of them. I did swatch these all for a TikTok. 
I believe they were all one coat coverage except for the orange and the yellows. I believe those ones I needed to do two coats of. Number 13, and this is probably the most perfect neutral background. <laughs> It is a nice creamy vanilla color. It is not too yellow. It is not too white. It is not too dark. It's not too light. It's literally just perfect for backgrounds for nail art designs. I love this one. I know I'm going to get tons of use in this. I actually think I'm going to keep this one on my nail desk so that it's easy for me to reach for all the time because I know I'm going to use a ton of that. This is number 14. So this is a great orange brighter but still a little bit dark orange perfect for halloween number 15 this is a peachy color a little bit brighter peach shade i think more um spring but i think you could combine this with some other colors to tone it down for fall and winter for sure this is 16 16 is a really nice blue it's such an interesting color like it's not a periwinkle i wouldn't well it's kind of borderline periwinkle definitely a little bit more on the blue side with some gray undertones is a nice sea foam green it's, i find it so interesting with beanie because when they come out with collections like last year they had a really great fall collection that came out i've literally used it all year round and they do that all the time they come out with like staple collections that not only are for the season they're launching in, but they're they're good all year round. And that's exactly how I feel with this one. Like this green, I think you would think is normally a spring color, but I could definitely see doing some plaid nails and stuff like that with it for fall. This is 18. I'm very happy to see like a teal turquoise type of color. This was a shade that was missing from Beanie's um, lineup that we have so far. So I'm happy to see that. We have two yellows, which is great because the only other yellow we have from Beanie's creamy gel polishes is like a neon yellow. Uh, so number 19, this is the lighter yellow in the collection. So it's like a brighter pastel yellow. Number 20, this is a lighter purple. Love this color a little bit of a muted undertone to it and 21 we have another purple it's a little bit darker 22 is like a mustard yellow this one i know needed two coats but again it's not too bright it's not too light it's not too dark very nice shade and then we have two pinks in the collection so this is 23 it's more like a bubblegum pink very beautiful bubblegum pink and then the last color is number 24 and this is a brighter pink really like that too and if you have not tried beamy creamy gel polishes i definitely encourage you to they're so creamy like if same thing with the arch rival ones you guys are going to see the arch rival ones in this haul too they are so creamy as well um a little bit thinner of a consistency than, than the beaming creamies um like one coat coverage for most of them for sure such a nice collection i love when they launch those collections and then i did want to share some new top coats from fusion too just recently came out with a fall collection of their fusion fx uh, matte top coats love these so versatile like the matte glitter collection that they came out with um, earlier this year is I use it all the time it you guys know I prefer stamping on a matte uh, on a matte surface and you can use the glitter top coats and then go in and stamp on top and it just adds a little bit of something extra to it instead of just stamping on a color uh, so we have three new top coats these have like a flake to them this is called harvest and it has some really great green iridescent shades for it. I love this one. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them on black. And then you can kind of see the white one here on the lid. This is cider. And so cider has some orange iridescent and yellow iridescent flakes to it, which is this one over black. And this one has a little bit of a red and purple undertone to it as well. I just love these. I, I want to see more of the glitter um, matte top coats. I do really like the sparkle ones too. Um, they're a nice fine glitter with it. Um, but the mattes, oh, they're just so nice. Um, if you guys have followed Dime Nails on Instagram, came out with 10 art inks. So she uses her art inks to create crystal inspired designs. She has workshops online to show you how to do that. Um, the way that she does them and then she launched her own inks as well as some other nail art options uh, so she sent me her collection to try out I'm like look at the packaging 
oh, just so nice. And I love, I love to see people doing this. I love to see them, you know, they have an idea for something and they do it. They just pursue those goals and those dreams. And that's exactly what she has done here. So she sent me her 10 gel or her 10 inks and then her top coat as well which this is the top coat i did use for these so shiny and the nice thing about her inks is they blend so nicely and they are very pigmented so i have opera's inks i have coco and claire's inks um so if you're looking for my thoughts on like comparing all those different brands opera's is not as pigmented as um the marble queen inks or coco and claire but I feel like there's still a purpose for like lighter shaded inks. Like if you don't want something that takes a bit to blend out or anything, um, that might be the way to go. And then the Coco and Claire inks, highly pigmented, like super, super highly pigmented, but sometimes they can be a little difficult to blend out. Um, I find I usually have a bowl of acetone and alcohol going, and sometimes I will mix them both depending on the look that I'm kind of going for. Marble Queen inks are kind of like the best of both worlds. Like they are pigmented and they blend out really, really easy. Like that said though, I'm still gonna use all the different inks that I have in my collection. Uh, Opry has a whole variety of different colors. Coco and Claire has a lot of great metallics. And then we have the Marble Queen inks that are just some really, really good staples. Number one, this is really great, like ready pink, is this stunning purple. So concentrated, just so beautiful. Number three is this really great, like bright neon green color. Number four is this really nice lighter blue, really good for ocean type of nails. Number five is this medium green. And then number six is this bold red shade. Number seven is this orange. So number eight is this like more muted green. Number nine is this nice brown, which this would be one that I would use all the time. Um, I use browns like this to create antique looking nails all of the time, so it is so good to have a good brown. And number 10 is super unique. I wanna say this is called smoky or smoky quartz or something. It is not like a super dark pigmented black, which I'm okay with. It's more of like a super dark smoky gray. And when you blend this out, it doesn't have like any yellow or um, pink or red undertones because I know some of the grays and browns and neutrals that I have, they do have those. Oh, that's another one I've tried is um, like craft store inks. It's like anorandic or something. You can just get them from Michaels. Um, my complaint about those is that sometimes, for example, they have a really nice dark gray, but when you blend it out, it's got like brown undertones to it, red undertones, so it doesn't even look like a gray anymore. Um, but that's not the case with this one at all. This one blends out so nice and creates just such a great smoky effect. So, Yoli, you did such a good job with your inks. I'm so proud of you. I don't, I'm not too sure if you're gonna be watching this video, um, but I definitely wanted to include them in the haul because they're just something to definitely definitely check out for sure. And then speaking of small shops following their dreams, let's talk about Miss Nails by Jen because she has a new line too. Jen launched some cuticle oils. So NBJ Nails by Jen launched um, a bunch of different cuticle scents. Jen's cuticle oils. She, I can't remember how many she launched at her initial launch. I know she has some fall ones coming out too. Say five or six different scents and I grabbed three of them on her launch day. So excited for you, Jen. And they also have like a shimmer to them as well. Like a really pretty little shimmer. And this one is Carnival Treats. I'm terrible at describing scents though. So maybe just check her website. <laughs> mm, beach Party, that smells delicious too. And excellent, excellent smells. And I'm really glad, I really like the packaging of these too. She does have smaller sizes as well. So definitely check out Jen's cuticle oils if you're looking for some new cuticle oils. And this is the Clear Jelly Stamper Volume 2 polish kit, I guess. 20 different colors um, from Clear Jelly Stamper. You can now get these individually as well. Went live and swatched all of these live and that video is still up on my Instagram. So if you wanna see uh, that, definitely go and check it out. It was super fun. Um, but a couple standouts for me, obviously, these rosy tones down here, these three. 
And in that video, I actually um, share with you guys what three Coco and Claire gel polishes I think these go with the best. Um, and like they're actually my top three colors from Coco and Claire. Uh, so they have one called Chocolate Dipped Raspberries that is very similar to this one. And then they have another one that is called um, Psychology of the Rose, very similar to this one. And then they also have um, Smoky Rose and it is kind of like an in-between of these two, but leaning a little bit more towards this little pink one here. Um, so I love that. Love that they came out with like those colors that match those so well, especially when it comes to how I like to design sets. Um, I usually pick out a few different colors that I like and incorporate whatever patterns and such that I'm doing on them as well uh, with with the base color. So having a variety of different stamping polishes to do that uh, really, really helps. So this is a really good collection. Um, the only thing are these two green ones are super, super similar. One is like a little bit brighter than the other one. Um, and then there's no purples in this collection, which I personally feel like we need more purples from Clear Jelly Stampers. So um, hopefully we'll see some purples soon, but great collection. Um, the very first kit that they came out with for stamping was excellent as well. I believe it had more of like a rainbowish vibe to it. Um, these are good colors that I feel like we're missing from that collection uh, that fill in a lot of gaps. So I'm really, really pumped about this collection. Um, I think there's some really good options for that. Um, speaking of Clear Jelly Stamper, they have had a lot of new releases lately. So this is 243. This is called On the Road Again, and it is such a cute plate. I especially love this little camper down here and the wood grain, the little rainbows and the images themselves are fairly small, which is really good uh, for people that have smaller nail beds. I was so excited for this plate. I'm just so happy with it. Okay, um, this one I'm not gonna open because this is actually for Flora and I just cannot find mine of this, but this is Boho Vibes. For Flora, this has been so popular. So I would imagine that it's been um, popular like from CJS as well, uh, but just such a fun plate. Very, very versatile in how you stamp all of your different layers and your images. Um, I have a tough time keeping this one in stock. This is um, Floral Tassels. And when I was talking about this one on Instagram, one of the things that I really like about this, because you guys know that in addition to stamping um, like layered, I love outlines for watercoloring. And this I think would be really good for watercoloring because it's got a lot of detail on it. So it'll just stand out really nice with just a really great watercolor background. Uh, but sometimes I will just stamp centers too and you can do kind of like a shadowy type of look. And these centers are gonna be excellent for that type of effect with it as well. Uh, this is um, Let's Clap 85. This one is called Pin Up and then 86 is called Tattoo. Very, very fun stamping images as well and then the tattoo one and then this is another one that's been super super popular at flora this is called um mystic amazing and it's got some really nice crystals on it some great chandeliers kind of an astrology vibe to it it is a very very fun plate i just used it so i apologize that it is like messy but i did an s um an astrology set for a customer for um it designs and she requested some images from this plate so um some really fun plate launches as well from clear jelly stamper i just am loving everything that they're coming out with lately and then for coco and claire we've had two new collections um at the time that you guys are watching this i believe the next one will be released too it is um like a neon reflective gel collection that one looks fantastic um, I talked about these briefly in a vlog and I just wanted to touch on them a little bit more here too. So this was a first collection that they released, but it is three different shades that are just so beautiful for spring. Like look at those for spring. Oh, I just love them. So first up we have this one. This is called Light as a Feather and it is a really nice like mauve purple type of shade. It is just so beautiful has definitely like a neutral vibe to it. Then we have this one, which is called Sweetest Peach. Literally the perfect peach shade, especially going into summer, because it does have like um, a little bit of a, of a brighter vibe to it. And then this one is Fairies in the Mist, and this is your Milky White. 
which is excellent because I find Milky Whites just so versatile. You can marble with them, you could do milk bath nails with them. Um, and we do have a Milky White from them right now. It's called May, but it is a builder um, consistency, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, so it's nice to see uh, Milky White in their like gel polishes. And then we had a Cat Eye collection release as well. How fun are these? Coco and Claire ones that I have tried in the past. I don't find that the magnetic properties pull the best. Um, that said though, they're some of my go-to ones for galaxy nails, for marbling, because they have such a cool effect, even if you don't use a magnet with them. Um, and it's the same thing with these. They have such a cool effect if you don't want to use a magnet with them. Um, but if you do want to use a magnet with these, these ones pull really, really nicely. So I was very happy to see that. So first one up, we have Honey Bunch. They kind of have like a duochrome look to them. And this one has a really great like yellow, brown, um, orangish look to it. The best way to use these if you want them to be super concentrated is over a black. So this is 452 Sugar Pie. So you do not have to do like two coats of black and then two coats of this. You would just do one coat of black and then um, go in with this one or go in with the cat eye on top. So this one has kind of an indigo look to it. This one, um, 453, is probably my favorite one. I love this. It has a blue and a green effect to it. For mermaid nails, that would just be so beautiful. Then we have 454. This one's called Take My Hand. And this one has like a green and a yellow look to it. I would do um, snake skin nails, snake skin print, <laughs> or like a dragon um, themed set with that color. This is 454. This is called Rockin' and Reelin'. This one has a really nice pink look to it. And then depending on how the light hits it, it does kind of look green as well. And then the last one is 456. And this one is called Giddy Up. And this one has a nice green purple look to it too. Really great options from Coco and Claire there. Um, Fusion had two great things launched lately the first thing they came out with was um some more of their x fx um top coats but this collection is uh like a colored milky top coat collection it's really really cool so this is soft pink veil and so you'll see when i open it that they have a really nice milky look to them no sparkles no anything like that um, but this is a nice light pink shade then we have rose veil more of a brighter pink than the last one and you might be thinking to yourself okay like these are neat but what can i do with them um, i think the original idea of these was to do a milk bath nails with them so you could do some different layering techniques with uh, different floral embellishments um, and then top coat them with this type of milky look and it would look like a milk bath nail. It's been interesting though, because ever since I've gotten these in my possession, I have been thinking of so many different ways to use these. I think these would be great for ocean nails and doing the same type of effect, just layering maybe some different pieces of shells or um, some stamping, something like that. I have an ocean set of nails coming up soon that I might um, try some of that with. This is Lavender Veil, so it's kind of like a periwinkle, like a light periwinkle bluish purple. This is a Soft White Veil, so this is your Milky White. Just such a great color, and they have a nice um, thin consistency as well. This is Peach Veil. I love this one. I just think this is so beautiful. And then the last one, this is called Nude Veil, which is just so unique absolutely love this okay and then they also came out with a fortify collection as well but this is an interesting collection so i do have a video up talking about fortify by fusion struct product from that is what these are but these are uh like it, they have sparkles to them and like a little bit of pigment and such so the construct product is really nice if you have problem lifters um if you're looking for a builder in a bottle to kind of try out i would definitely recommend the fusion one it has the most interesting formula it is runny 
but it doesn't move when you put it on the nails. Like definitely go watch that video if you have any questions about what I'm talking about because it is just so neat. So they came out with a wedding collection, which I think this is just such a great idea, especially if you have brides that are coming in that only want like a gel manicure. Um, maybe you have a bridal party to do. You want to get them kind of in and out, but want to do something really unique for them. This would all essentially be like a one-step product, which I think is just so cool. So the first one here, this is called First Look. And this is a really nice light pink. And then it has a really soft iridescent gold sparkle to it. Um, so you would apply this like a builder in a bottle. And then if you, you would shape it a little bit and then you would top coat it and you are good to go. Like it would just make the best gel mani if you wanted something really quick and easy. This one is called True Love. And this one is just a little bit brighter than the last one as far as the pink goes. Um, and it does have that same iridescent look to it as well. I think this one's gonna be excellent for winter nails too. This is called Tiara. And Tiara has like a matte, like super fine matte glitter to it. And then like a green and gold iridescent glitter in it as well. I think that is so fun. This is Lift the Veil. And this is kind of like a milky white. And then again, it's got that iridescent uh, gold to it as well. This is champagne. And this is a nice clear color and then just have that iridescent sparkle with it. I'm 100% using these for the press-ons too. Because I would use these as a base and then I would put like loose glitters and such in, on top of it for like a glitter fade. And then this one is called I Do. And this is a really nice kind of peachy, brighter pink color with that same iridescent look to it. So I think these are just fantastic. Um, I love the construct from um, Fortify. I think it is just such a great idea and I put it on my mom and I hardly ever put gel polish on my mom. Um, she is just like with when she's typing and such, she's a little bit rough on her, especially this finger, her pointer finger. Um, and she has had no problems within it at all, which is just so great because anytime I do put gel polish on her, she does not get much wear time with it. So um, let's move on to the Painted Desert. So we are now carrying the Painted Desert at Flora, which is just super, super exciting. I brought in um, the gel liners, which I just think are so great. I've been wanting a line of um, gel liners to use for the press-ons and when I saw that Painted Desert was coming out with them, I was like, yep, that is happening. And then for the tips, I brought in um, the extra short shapes, some of the sh uh, short shapes, some of the medium, and then I, I do have one long shape coming, but for the most part, I, I stayed away from the long and extra long um, only because for it designs um, our most popular shapes and sizes and the ones that people have a hard time finding other places are the extra short ones and that is one of the things that drew me to painted desert and one of the things that um, i definitely wanted to make sure we had stocked at flora but again if there is something else that you guys want brought in and like my next order or anything from painted desert definitely let me know um, i did want to test out the gel polishes as well and see if that's like a potential line down the road um, but for now I do have the liners and some of the tips online as so well. The liner set has 10 liners in it. And the nice thing about these is the size of them. You get a pretty decent amount of product. I want to say they're 12 mil. Yes, they are 12 mil. 12 mil containers. So you get a white one, fairly fine hairs on it, which is nice to see. So you get a white, black, violet. Hi! Are you bored up there? I just tired. Again? A little bit. But a little bit? So tired. You're quite a bit tired again? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have some water today? Yeah. Come over here and have some mommy's water, okay? And then we have a really nice gold here too. Super, super sparkly, but a nice light gold. It's not um, like a yellowy gold, which is great. May I see that one, please? Thank you. And then the silver as well, which is more of a metallic, whereas the gold was more of a sparkle. You can keep handing them to me, please. And then we have a red one. This is like a bright fire engine red too. A pink one. And this is a nice bubblegum pink. We have a blue one. And it is a really nice bright blue. The yellow. It's like a brighter buttercream yellow. Thank you. I got all the Mm-hmm. 
And then the green, I really like this. It's not too bright, it's not too dark. It's a great medium green. And then the last one is a purple for violet, hey? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And then the purple is a light pastel purple. So that is that is the gel liner collection from Painted Desert, 12 mils, um, and we do have some in stock still at Flora as well. Okay, so from Painted Desert, there's 28 gel polishes here to go through. They have a lot more on their site, including some reflective glitters, which I think are gonna be so fun. Um, but let's open these up. I actually wanna start with these cat eyes over here because they have been posting those quite a bit, and I just love the shades of them. So this is number 61, and it is a purple cat eye, but it looks super, super concentrated. Oh yeah, they pull pretty good too. This is 62, so it's like uh, champagne-y pink. So pretty. 63, your nice champagne gold. And then this is 64 more of a silvery pink okay and then this color I really want to see this one so this is number 17 it looks kind of like a milky purple with like iridescentness to it I would totally marble this together with some different shades for a really fun like spring look a Talia color for sure this is number 11 this rosy shade that is so pretty another rosy one Sorel number seven Ooh, this is like a pretty terracotta, like a light terracotta. Um, number 71. This great medium purple. We have this one, which is number 72. I love light purples. Just a little bit lighter than that last one. Three, a little bit lighter than the last one. <laughs> she obviously knows how much I love purples. 80. Ooh, I love this color too. That is a great rosy pink. Number 70, a nice dark purple. This is pretty. What a beautiful purple. This is number 74. Nice um, turquoise color for summer. And this is number 89. This looks like a fire engine reddish color. Very pretty. Another kind of milky color, number 12. I, I love these milky colors like I just do I use them all the time Coco and Claire has a bunch of builders um, and I hardly use them as a builder I use them the majority of the time for marbling because it's so hard to find milky colored gel polishes um, and they just work so great so 90 and 91 are your black and your white I'll make sure these don't have like a weird smell to them Mm, they don't. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, there is another black I tried recently and it had just such a smell to it. 71, a nice bright white. And then the rest are neutral shades that I have. So this is number 10. Like a nice rosy neutral. This is number 82. This is like a dark brown. 85 this looks like it would be a nice color for fall it's like a caramel brown i will more than likely have that on my nails in the fall because i love those colors in the fall 83 this is like an in-between of those two browns 84 light cream color but it definitely is on the brighter side 88 and this one has more of a yellow tinge than the last one. Seven, I should have put these in order. This is like a vanilla bean shade. I would use this for backgrounds all the time. Number eight, this is a nice kind of taupey neutral shade. 86, we're getting a little bit darker. This one has almost like a green tinge to it. Another really good one that would be good for fall. This is number nine. This one's called pink clay. That's pretty. And then number six, this is called quicksand. Quicksand. And it has like a milky look to it too. Ah, love it. Love the milky look colors. Okay, so they also have um, their cactus colors, um, which these you can use in combination with their tips. So you would use them as, you'd put a little bit of gel down and then you would go in with their tips. Adhere their tips to the nails. 
like that. This is another thing I wanted to mention is um, this specific tip shape. This is a extra short almond and this is a shape that we are going to be bringing into it designs because it is just so unique compared to anything else that we have um a nice short almond nail i would gladly wear this shape like that is just so perfect this one and the extra short coffin are selling like crazy on flora extra short coffin is very similar to the short coffin from opry um it's just slightly i don't even want to say it's like more arched in the center it's almost like it's more arched on the sides or something it just personally would fit me a lot better than the um coffin shape from opry um but it's a very similar length so this is what you would use to adhere your uh, nails down if you were gonna do quick gel tips. Um, I also have their matte top coat to try out, which I'm pumped about, their stainless steel top coat, and then their rubber top coat, which is fantastic for art. Their cactus colors, they have a whole range of different colors as well. This one I wanna, I wanna say is a new release. Um, this is number 110. And can we just like get a round of applause for the sparkle in here? Like how great would that be? Just on its own, nothing else. Just do that, <laughs> would be so nice. Um, this here is called number, or this one's number 68 color base. And so it is definitely on like the rosy peachy side too. Yeah, definitely could have put these in numerical order. Really nice rosy pink. So compared to like um, the Fusion Fortifies, because I do have that neutral collection too, the Fusion Fortifies are a little bit more um, pigmented than these would be. This is number 67. It's so your nice like milky pink. 70. Like your rosy pink. 71. Another rosy pink, but a little bit darker. And then this is 66. Nice light pink. And number 69. This one is more of your neutral pink. So a nice array of different colors and options from Painted Desert. Way more than what I've shared with you here, but just to give you guys an idea of what they do have. Um, and then I will... I'm definitely gonna use these on the press-ons and I will for sure report back what I think. Okay, um, it is Arch, Arch Rival. So I mentioned this brand in a video, in a whole video. Um, they sent me this amazing PR package to test out their stuff. And I am actually wearing one of the colors on my nails right now. It is lasting so well. I scuffed my nails up like crazy, especially today. I was doing a bunch of reorganizing in the studio. I have to say, I am very impressed with the application of these. And they also have the cutest little tiny bottles of gel polishes too. In these cute little sizes. This is a Canadian company, a pro only company. Um, and I love that they have these little bottles as well because I don't know about you, but I do not go through a large bottle of gel polish unless it's like a hands down favorite of mine. And the only ones I ever go through like that are blacks and whites. <laughs> uh, so having the option to have to get the little small ones is fantastic. Or if it's a color, say this beautiful rosy one over here that you would use all the time, you could get it in the big one. And I ha I'm going to insert some clips here of like unboxing these because their attention to detail and their packaging for this is unreal. Their stuff is just so well thought out, just so beautiful. And you can tell that they put the time and energy and effort into creating just a really great brand. Now this brand is um, kind of like a collaborative effort of a bunch of pro nail techs. Um, it's a really interesting concept with it as well. There's so much that I like about this brand too. So um, we have a variety of different gel polishes and they're big, big ones. Um, also a whole bunch of these tiny little gel polishes, like how cute are they to go through too. And then their gel paints they have as well. And I believe I have a brush. Um, yes, right here. And this brush is fantastic. I've definitely used this brush too. I really like the head on it. Just first, I actually, as you can tell, have not opened all of these. I was saving it for the haul, um, but I have done some of them. Okay, so this is number 166. I'm going in no particular order, just whatever I grab. A great light neutral, but like, look at how creamy these are. They are so creamy to apply. 
Then we have 122. This is a nice turquoise color. 166. This is a light neutral. I wish I could show you guys or um, explain to you how creamy these are. They are just so beautiful. 55. I love this color. I actually, I used this for a customer that wanted like an OPI um, bubble bath type of color and I used this one and she loved it. It is just such a great milky color. You guys know me. I like my milky gel polishes. Any of the ones that have the little X on them have glitter in them. So this is um, X007. A nice chunky glitter mix in that one. X006. This one is so beautiful. It is just a stunning rose gold shade. X001, a really nice like metallic silver. 013, this is just such a great purple. This I would get in a full one because I'm fairly confident I would use a lot of this one. I love that gold iridescent look to it. I'm thinking galaxy nails for that. 93, this is a nice purple shade. This is 109, a nice light blue. You can just see, like, in the container how creamy these are. It is a nice rosy shade. I thought it would be great for fall, but as soon as I opened it, I, I just had to have it on my nails. And I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. Like, I have no desire to change my nails. I just think it just looks so good. And it was so easy to apply. Very, very happy with it. This is 128. So this is a nice turquoise. 104 nice um like grayish blue 174 this is a great medium um to light gray and then these i haven't opened all of these but like look like the theme of these killer coats cotton candy killer the names like the branding of this brand is just incredible absolutely incredible i've never seen a brand like do that like take it to like that level with their branding it's insane like even the little caution tapes on the side so this yeah cotton candy killer Ooh, that is a great pink this might have to go on my color on my nails next this is 100% a Talia color number 43 the cupcake bandit nice rosy pink I use this one for a one color um yeah one color complimentary set for a client and this is um x15 witching hour so remember the x's are the sparkles and it is a fantastic blue with a super super fine light um shimmer 162 dust bunny peachy neutral this is um, X19 Plasma Thirst. Oh, hello. Beautiful, bright, sparkly red. This would be great for Christmas. Uh, this is Flamethrower. Neon Orange. This yellow, I think, is going to be good for um, fall. It's called Killer Clownfish, number 143. And yep, it totally is a nice mustard yellow. A little bit on the bright side, but I think that'd be fantastic for fall time. Uh, 60 or 160 cone heads, light neutral. Another one I would probably use as a background of um, nail art. And this is um, Time Traveler. <laughs> That's funny. Seriously, like the, the branding, I just cannot get over this. And this looks like a really great sage green beautiful shade so then for their gel paints um, a few of them here as well so this is f01 this one's called pure crack this one is one of my favorites like hello if you have been here for a while you know i love these iridescent glitters they're just so versatile and this one definitely has a rainbow effect to it every single color is in this one five this is called rouge rouge Oh goodness, Talia. Do I have that on its side? And this is a fantastic rosy shade. And these are super, super creamy in how they apply as well. Like that C01. I wonder what the C stands for. Is that a cat eye? Kind of looks like it might be a cat eye. 02 Strike of Rose. So this is a champagne 
super fine sparkle. 12, this is called Pandora. Great neutral pink for Athena's tincture. I love this shade. That is such a beautiful greenish blue. B02 laced. This is stunning. That is a beautiful, like, bronzy copper. To Ramona's Crypt. Oh, beautiful. I know exactly who this is named after. Beautiful nail artist. Laura's Craft. It's like a smoky, a smoky purple. 006 French Club is the last one. That one's got its thing in it still. Ooh, that is a beautiful, like, off-white neutral. Stunning. Have to show you guys the packaging for these. For their mat, their base, and their top coat. How beautiful are these? Just like the attention to detail, cannot. And um, this mat is, it's um, like a, a very thin consistency and cures tack free as well. And I did use the top coat on my nails, but again, they're pretty mucked up with everything I was doing in the studio today. Let's move on to our Back to Beauty show haul now because, so Ivory went to the Back to Beauty show. I did not um, for multiple reasons. I know I touched on this in a vlog, um, but she did do some shopping there for me, which is amazing. I'm just so thankful that she was able to do that. Uh, so I have some items from Glitter Mix Canada to share with you. Uh, these are their shards and I asked Ivory to um, grab all of them for me because I thought these would be really good for the press-ons. I love stuff like this that um, will sit nice and flat in your nails because again I can't create too much bulk with press-ons. Two shops I believe, Glitter Mix Canada and then she also um, went into Purple Beauty for me and picked up a couple Opry things. So from Glitter Mix Canada I had her grab these 3D charms for me. There was two different options, one with silver boolean beads and one with gold. I really like the size of these flowers, so I definitely wanted to add those to my collection. And then the shards. So two, four, six, eight, ten different kinds of shards. This is what number one looks like. So these are not flakes. You cannot like chrome with these or anything, but they are nice and flat little glitter pieces that you could definitely embed in nails. So that one has like a purple pinkish look. Number two, this has like an indigo purple look to it. Like how pretty is that? Number three, this one has like a green chameleon look to it. Number four, this one has like a purple and turquoise look to it. Number five, pink and green look to it. Number six, this has like a purple and green look. Number seven, this is like your typical mermaid one. So blue and green. Number eight, this has green and yellow. Number nine, a few different shades of pink it looks like. Number 10 is a great like icy blue. This one will be great for winter. Number 11, this has a copper look to it. And then the last one, number 12. Ooh, this one's pretty. Like a purplish, pinkish, blue look to it. So I'm really looking forward to using those as well. Um, I did have Ivory, Ivory grab her, um, like, oh my gosh, crystal nippers. Are you sure these are from Nail Time? I think is what it's called. Look at how beautiful these stunning decals are for fall nails. Oh, I just think they're so pretty. So again, I had her grab me two of them. Mainly because if I use these for a customer for the press-ons and somebody else wants them done as well, then I'm going to wish I had more. <laughs> totally just tore those. Some really nice butterfly looking ones as well. And then uh, she also went to Purple Beauty and she went there for I think they had like an open house or something um, but she had messaged me the night before and said that uh, nail tech she went and got her nails done by um, a nail tech in Edmonton um, I think in Edmonton 
and what she was raving about these opre uh french manicure gels and i have looked at these before the only reason i have not got them is because i wasn't too sure about the brush <laughs> and i'll show you what i mean so if you've seen these on social media at all they have a very angled brush which is supposed to be good for creating like a french tip nail i think i feel like i'm doing this wrong like this maybe creating a French tip nail. So I wasn't too sure what I was gonna think of these because I more than likely will not be using these a lot for French nails. Um, but she said that the brush works fantastic and I have used one of these colors for a design. I think it was the purple one. Um, and the brush was actually perfectly fine. It worked really well. So she grabbed me the Neon Collection, um, which features a pink, it has this orange in it as well now neons never show up very well on my camera but this is like a highlighter neon orange um the pink is it was bright a uh, little a little bit dark though too it's not like highlighter color this one here which is like a bright corally orange this one is so bright it is more like a medium purple it's so creamy it applies just great and then a neon green this is highlighter neon it's super super bright and then the yellow this is also a highlighter yellow beautiful and then she did grab, pick me up this collection as well this is just like a screams to leah collection so this is the out outback collection i have not opened this as you guys can see because i was waiting for this video but like, how beautiful is this collection? Let's pull these out. Just beautiful. So this first one here, this looks like a similar color to the one I'm wearing. A nice rich wine maroon color. This one is a medium brown. I really like browns. I think browns are completely an underrated color. If you are doing a design and you, let's say originally the design was done in black and you wanted to tone it down a bit, use brown. Wherever you use black, use brown instead. And this one is um, more of like a rosy, kind of like coffee brownish color. A nice taupey neutral. This one is a nice neutral pink. So I know I'll get lots of use out of those for the press-ons as well. This is the last item that I was going to share. It's the Painted Desert. Oh gosh, what do they call this? Sidewinder Flash Cure Lamp. It's so cute. And I like how it like sits on your desk too. Position it wherever you want. Super, super cute. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So many fun new items. I would definitely love to know um, if you guys have tried any of these items out, something new in your nail studio that you have recently tried. I would love to hear it as well. So comment below and let me know. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.